Melanoma is a deadly skin cancer, and it's on the rise in younger Americans. In a new study, researchers at the Mayo Clinic say they are seeing four times the number of cases in men under the age of 40 than they did in 1970, and for women, eight times as many. Researchers blame tanning beds for the increase. For years, scientists have tried to find a way to predict cancer and other diseases by using a person's DNA as a roadmap. Dr. John LaPook is here today with the results of a major new study, and John, it focused on twins. That's right, Scott. Identical twins are born with virtually the exact same genes and the same inherited risk for disease, but more than 90% of the time, when one twin develops cancer, the other does not. Now, these researchers looked at 24 different diseases, including cancer, and calculated the usefulness of genetic testing. Each person has over 20,000 genes with millions of variations. All cancers, like this lung tumor, are caused by genetic defects, but only a tiny fraction of those defects are inherited. The rest develop when DNA is damaged by lifestyle choices like smoking, the environment, or random factors. The scientists found that genetic testing has only limited usefulness for most people. For example, ovarian cancer will strike 2.2 million women in this country. Researchers calculated that testing every woman in America would only identify at most 20 percent, leaving at least 1.7 million women with a negative result and possibly a false sense of security. This isn't just true for cancer. Researchers found similar results for other illnesses like type 2 diabetes and Parkinson's disease. That said, there are scenarios, especially in patients with a very strong family history of cancer, where genetic testing can be quite useful. But the idea that everybody should run out and get their genes mapped doesn't seem to make much sense, Scott. John, fascinating. Thanks very much.